is going on guys it is your boy so here bringing you guys a video here today now i have no idea at this very moment in time if i'm literally like like 40 or something away or like 100 away but unfortunately currently right now it's saturday i'm like 140 or so away it's usually kind of two days um so i'm most likely hitting 100k on monday um and guess what where your boy is gonna be i'm gonna be in la looking for apartments um so oof okay bad timing but uh yeah i just want to say thank you guys so very much if we did hit it in this video as for right now i'll do a little special video don't know what i'm gonna be doing i really don't i really never know um but the the special thing can i show you guys now i mean i might as well show you guys now what's gonna be coming hopefully like on the screen right now is like the 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 little surprise that i was saying i'm not gonna say it verbally so if you're not looking at the video you gotta go back ha huh? anyway so just get my intro out there uh we're learning <laughs> teaching you guys how to create a very own cool like black and white sort of urban um mixtape album cover feel uh it looks really cool very simple as well to do it just really requires you to have some kind of like cityscape landscape pull cool a picture um that fits the document size very well. You're basically adding black and white gradient, um, some noise, and using some really cool, simple little gestures of, um, I guess, you know, text or like anything, honestly, assets wise, and like these little assets in here, like little tech kind of stuff, um, little word placements here, and interaction with the little uh, gradient. It's very simple, very easy to do, and I want to show you guys how to do it because it's. Uh, I also had zero time today, so I had to figure something out really quickly. So, like I said, I have no idea if I did say this in this clip, um, if it's gonna be a one minute style banner design. I have no idea, but let's get this thing going and uh, yeah, let's just let's start it up. All right, guys, let's go and get this thing going right here, right now. So the first thing I'm going to end up doing is obviously finding a picture. So if you guys are going to Google, I literally Googled in, I think, like city street view or something like that. Uh, make sure you guys change your, let me actually do it for you guys as well here. Let's just go to Google images. Um type in city landscape just so you guys understand that it really does matter what um you're choosing right and what you should be able to be doing is you should be going to tools size larger than and using anything around four megapixels and anything of that kind of sort you you know kind of click around find your favorite one or whatever switch and match and match um all that good stuff or use unsplash i'm not sponsored by them but they like they have honestly some really really cool pictures um so here's unsplash really quickly just in case you guys want to know and you can just type in like city street right <coughs> excuse me i think this is where i actually got it from not google but um yeah they're really really cool and like just really simple to do um so with that being said let's go ahead uh where did my camera go it's still here right okay cool um okay so i have a picture here so of course we're gonna be using a nice cool little gradient map here um with this gradient map we're gonna be using this simple black and white very simple black and white on one side so black on one side okay and then white on the other side okay so you want to also take your midpoint here and to make it basically darker you want to make sure that the black is dominant of your actual gradient so right now the midpoint is saying we're like sharing it but if you guys kind of move this midpoint toward the right which is kind of like you can see like the shade here is getting more darker that's what you want it's basically saying hey let's make sure that this uh is more darker and kind of like or darker favored you press okay now we're gonna go there so we have our simple little black and white little scheme there i also just realized i need to take my logo where's my logo at uh, I think this is it. <laughs> okay, cool. So, I have my logo here too. I have all the little assets that I need in today's video. Cool. So, logo is now there. Uh, okay, so with our example here, we kind of have a simple little background. We have a little gradient and we have these little words. Um, the way the words actually just end up looking really cool and kind of like, I guess, exposed and sort of distorted a little bit. Um, I ended up using, of course, you can probably told, uh, tell when I actually put the. Um, this thing on right here, right? I'm using uh, different. So if you, as long as that you're, well, let me show you guys. As long as that you're, uh, whatever thing you're working with, a stock, um, whatever, like stock text, whatever. As long as it's white, your logo in this case for me. Um, once you put it on difference, guys, you're gonna find out that it kind of like makes it look like it's a little bit of exposure. Um, kind of like takes out, pulls things out. You can mess around with this a lot more as well, and kind of like taking, um, maybe take the selection. I'm just giving you guys more really quickly. Um, taking the selection using like another gradient map or whatever <coughs> excuse me and then if you want to go back into an erase it a little bit more you can find some really cool sort of like you can get some really cool sort of like I guess you would say like transitions um, it looks really really dope so that's what I'm gonna be doing today's video kind of all I'm just working with more or less black and white and just a little bit of a strip of color so once I have this here I can just go ahead and do the little design part here um, this little text on the right hand side I'll do as well but I'm gonna just write the word design really quickly so this font that we're using in today's video happens to be uh, sabers I believe this is in my latest um, font pack series video kind of thing um, I just downloaded it from the font if I didn't I beats me um let's shrink this down a little bit okay so obviously I ended up just kind of cutting this down a little bit and just kind of having it so that one side is you know de is orange 
um, SE is just simply white because it's the most apparent one. And then uh, the GN is, has a little simple stroke on it too. So hopefully if you guys watch my videos enough, you guys know how I probably did that. So uh, what I'm doing is when you make sure you have it actually spelled correctly, um, we're going to go ahead and rasterize this layer type, right? We're going to take our pen tool and just kind of just literally pen tool around the GN, right? Just like so. Right click, make a selection. You press OK once you make a selection. So once you made a selection, you want to press M on your keyboard, which is the marquee tool right here. Right, then you right click on the selection, you click layer via cut, and then you have the GN at the end, <coughs> excuse me, cut out. So this is what we want. So what you end up doing is taking your F, um, your fill, excuse me, and just draw, uh, throwing this all the way down to zero. It's basically like opacity, but at least the layer styles stay when you lower your fill down. Um, if you lower your opacity down, nothing stays. So I'm gonna go to my stroke here, make the size around three or four. You can make it whatever color you guys wish to. I'm gonna just gonna leave it white for now, and you press OK. And then this DE on this side, I can just go ahead and just kind of do a new layer, right click, clipping mask. So anything I put on this layer, which would be the color, I'm going to make sure it only stays there. So what you can do is then pen tool this, right, go around. And uh, I don't have the orange right now because I don't have the gradient on right now, but we'll just change it to a different color for now. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it in a second. But so I just click. Now it's like a little simple little uh, orange, yellow, and then SC and then GN. We'll change the colors a little bit once we finish that little portion um, with the gradient kind of thing, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I wrote the word imagine. I think it was a word imagine and the font for this was like sort of a, kind of like a, a Japanese style um, font, but not like any of the characters. I just kind of made it really, really big. So it kind of helped me with my space, right? Pretty big. And we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of only put a few of the, the character gestures like in there. That's gonna be a little bit too big. You only can see two gestures of the, of the, um, font excuse me there we go maybe something like that uh we'll see if that looks good we'll just go to normal and of course we're gonna go to difference and that's gonna be how we're gonna get that really cool look now you can go even in more depth and do multiple kind of copies of it you can make it look super super distorted and this is why it's really fun for me to just kind of show you guys how to do this um because it's very very easy to go ahead and take it and make it your own afterwards um okay so now that we have this here i'm just gonna put like i feel like i want to put like a different letter which letters did i put before i did n Slightly more like that, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine though. We'll just leave it like that for now. What I'm gonna end up doing now is doing the little simple little gradient parts really quickly as well. Because what I end up doing for that is simply, right? We're gonna simply just take our marquee tool here. Now I'm just putting the same places for the other time, just because, right? I put one on top. I put one on the side. I'm holding Shift by the way, so I can make multiple marquee uh, selections. Holding Shift still. We're holding Shift still. We're gonna do one going vertical. Another one going vertical. I'll just turn it off for now. But that's all the sections that we had in that same exact spots. I'm going to go ahead and do now is go to my little adjustments layer on the bottom. I'm going to go to where it says gradient map once again. And the uh, the gradient that I used for this was this really cool sort of orange yellow to like a lighter yellow. So this hex code for this one, you can just change the color, of course, if you guys want to. But it's EE534E. Press OK. Yellow is FFF15B. And the last one on this right hand side is in this lighter yellow, like I said before, is triple F um, 8C0. So I can press OK. We're good to go there. Now um, I can go ahead and change this now as well. I'll just change this to like a nicer color, which would be this one. And then we can change the bottom of the GN. So if you guys want to put color on this GN, you guys want to make sure you rasterize a stroke layer. So I'm going to rasterize the stroke layer. Right, rasterize this layer. That's that GN. Make a new layer. Right click. Copy the actual uh, or create clip mask to that layer. Then we can just take a nice little marquee tool, which is M on our keyboard again, go through it, and we can fill it in with any nice little yellow color, maybe like that one. And now we have our little uh, that little little touch to the um, color there. So that looks pretty good. Now I also ended up throwing in some textures here. So I have this little texture here. This is actually for my linear pack. Um, cough, cough. I think it's like what six or eight dollars, something like that. It's the best pack in the world. Um, we're just gonna go <laughs> drop it back in here though. Um, this texture here is actually really nice, really simple, sort of like line uh, grungy texture and looks really nice on these kind of things. So for you guys personally, if you guys are looking to get some more of a, a nice grungy feel to it, just let me just type in grunge textures. You can probably find some really cool ones as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I can keep it above the actual text itself. It gives a nice little sort of texture on the actual text, but I didn't put that on before, so I'm gonna put it below it. Okay, but it actually does look pretty nice. Am I gonna keep it above it, honestly? Nah, we'll keep it below. Let's just let's just go with the flow. Okay, 
So now I have this here, any of these hard edges here, if you guys want to hide them, you guys can definitely hide them. But also some of the times the hard edges, even in this example here, look pretty good. Like this hard edge here is just me rotating the actual um, texture around and it still looks pretty good. But for this one here, if you guys want to just go ahead and if you guys, for your texture, if you guys do not have the uh, this little mask selection mask here already enabled, this basically says your brush, a soft brush, whatever hardness brush, um, if you use white, it'll erase it. If you use black, it'll uh, put it back in. Um, vice versa if you're using the eraser not the brush so i'm using a black brush on this white canvas is going to actually erase you can see it erasing hopefully you can see that right so i'm just going to kind of erase it nice and simply like that and then what i'll do again is i'll kind of like move it over with alt and dragging it it'll make a duplicate for us really quickly press ctrl t to free transform it um and then we're just going to simply rotate it around this way and i'll keep that hard edge right there again that looks pretty good but i'm going to keep this i'm not going to keep this you see that hard edge here Let's go ahead and delete that over there. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I like how that looks. I'm gonna put this a little bit further over. And I think I put this little text stock in here as well. Let's put this text stock in here. And the actual blend mode for this one is Linear Dodge Add. Um, it was on Google. I put Google search uh, abstract tech elements. I believe it was the first one that came up uh, on the screen. So I can just kind of move this around in a few different spots to make it look really cool. Just like that. All right, it looks pretty good. And uh, low key, that's literally everything. But what I ended up doing for that little text thing around down here, all you really have to do is of course just type in the word, I put simplistic. That's my favorite word of all time, by the way. So if it, if, it ever, if, it, if I ever do like a quiz on myself, that's my favorite word of all time, simplistic. And I know it's not, <laughs> I know we branded the word really odd, uh, oddly over here, but I know what it actually means, guys. I just love it. That's it, okay? So I said the word simplistic. Now I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna put this inside this little box. So that's where that where it should be, in the uh, the case of the example, right? Make this a little bit more bigger, just like so, right? And I can just change this to um, difference as well if you want to make sure it looks really cool. But what what else might look really nice? That kind of looks cool too. Uh, difference. We'll just look, put on difference. Why not? And you just simply just duplicate it a couple times, just like that, right? Kind of gives you a nice little touch to that. Um, the text itself here, I feel like I'm missing something that I can do with the text itself. I was trying to do some other stuff when it comes to like just little drop shadows, just simple little drop shadows. Um, uh, but even something like an outer glow can work as well. I didn't do this in my examples, but honestly drop shadow probably works the best if you guys want to take like a black drop shadow with like a simply, um, zero size kind of zero spread kind of thing, making sure it's super sharp and then lowering the opacity a little bit, kind of make it a little more like a poster, poster-esque kind of, um, uh, foreground and background element there, but I don't know. I, I feel like it looks okay without it and Maybe you just sort of need some sort of like really dark dark image more or less in the middle side Because there's a lot of white like a lot of the highlights are in the white of this um or the excuse me the middle of this picture So it kind of looks a little bit weird because you can't really see this much too much over here But that's just maybe picture choices However, that is pretty much how I ended up doing this and it's almost the exact same thing besides of course switching it up Oh, that was a little bit darker. I say this is a little bit darker and also the noise, I didn't add the noise. So for this right here, I just saw from my example, mine's a little bit more darker. So I'm just gonna take this and make this a little bit more darker by taking the midpoint, moving it over. Okay, and I also added the noise. So you guys can add this in the beginning, the end, it doesn't really matter, but just simply take the actual gradient map and the picture that we, uh, that we made in the beginning of the video, right? Press Control J, press Control E. By the way, to select both of them, I just simply hold Control to select both of them. So now we have this little uh, duplicate of the actual picture that we have combined. So this is the combined picture. What I ended up doing was going over here to, let's make sure this, uh, well, I like to put, make everything a smart object. So every, every sort of filter that I put on the actual layer, it'll go ahead and apply it and we'll be able to go back into it if we want to. So I'm gonna to filter here. I'm gonna to to noise, I'm gonna to go to add noise. And the settings that I have here are 21, I'll put on 21. Just uh, distribution is on uniform and monochromatic, so that way it doesn't have any sort of like, you can see in here has a green and red. We don't want that. So monochromatic, press okay. And now we're looking way better, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I do like that way more. Now if you guys even once, you can go into your color filter raw and throw up a sort of clarity a little bit more. If you guys wanna put some clarity up to make that the, the, the noise look really, really um, I guess crisp and put your dehaze up a little bit as well these really nice crisp looking um, little noise textures here. So, excuse me, I like how that looks. I think um, you can probably put on a sharpen as well, just like one simple click of sharpen. It, it kind of depends. If you're gonna put a sharpen on, I think you might have to go back into your gradient map, make it black and white again, and make it even darker, right? Maybe something like that. It looks pretty good, honestly. 
it's a very noise noisy level sort of like design but it still looks really good either way um you don't have to put it on though if you guys want to put it on the sharpen but that'll be today's video homies so I know it was quick, I know it was like simple, but there's way more you can do. Like, like here's my logo, it's just it's just my logo that makes it look like this. Imagine putting, I don't know, like literally any stock that you might find abstract wise, making it kind of flow into this design here. This is one of those designs where I'm kind of leaving it to you guys in a way, but also showing you guys at least the actual um, aesthetic and or the, the steps of actually, uh, hopefully executing the style in a different way. Uh, but yeah, that'll be today's video. Uh, like I said before in the beginning of the video, I have no idea if we're at 100k yet. I hope, I really hope we're not. And I wish I was not out because I'm also out on my mom's birthday until oh, I fly back on my mom's birthday. It's okay. Um, but yeah, homies, I appreciate you guys so very much. I am very, I'm just like super hectic. Um, you can probably tell them the, uh, the, the urgency of my voice, but I have so much to do. I just wanted to get some kind of video out for you guys. If I didn't, I would have felt really shit. Um, especially since the fact that it's our 100k week. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, most likely the shirts that you guys saw, hopefully in the, somewhere in the middle of the video or in the beginning of the video is it's coming out very soon. Most likely like a Friday of next week or maybe like a Wednesday. I have no, I, I have no idea just yet. I get my personal one on Monday, so we'll see how that works. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later and i'm probably gonna vlog for next week's video because when i get back there's no way in hell i can do um another video but if you guys want to see a vlog just some a comment down do you guys want to see a vlog and we're just gonna upload it if we get like like 70 we'll do it also turn likes on the video right now like do it <laughs> later peace